In 8085, the serial input output operations are performed by two pins, one is known as the serial output data or SOD, other is the serial input data or SID. So, these two are for serial input and output and this uh, as far as the operation is concerned, the operation is controlled by this op instructions RIM and SIM, read interrupt mask and set interrupt mask. So, as we have seen previously that this uh, RIM and SIM uh, instructions, so they have got uh, one bit configured in the accumulator that will be acting as the serial input and output. So, this is how it takes place. First of all, we will discuss about the SIM instruction and the serial uh, output part. So, this is the this uh, this shows that how this can be done okay so this diagram if, if you remember so we have got this accumulator setting where this uh, bit 0 to bit 4 so they are for uh, this interrupt masking and uh, this r r7.5 bit 5 bit 5 is not used and this bit number 6 is for disabling and uh, enabling serial output data so sde serial data enable you can say so, if it is 0, then this uh, serial output data this is disabled and if it is 1, then this is enabled and this SD or this SDO bit, so this is for the serial output data. So, that will hold the data that should be uh, sent to the outside through this uh, pin. So, so, if you want to transmit some bit serially, so you can put the bit in this part a bit number 7 of the accumulator and enable this SDE bit and then execute the SIM instruction so that the bit that is stored here will be sent through this line. Next you put another bit here and setting that SDE to in the enable mode. So, again the next bit will go through this serially. So, this is how this SIM can be used for serial transmission of uh, data. Similarly, you can for uh, serial input part, so we can uh, take, uh, take help of the RIM instruction. So, RIM uh, accumulator configuration is uh, like this. So, rest of the bits we have discussed while talking about uh, this um, uh, while talking about the interrupts and this bit number 7 is the SDI serial data input. So, this particular bit uh, can be used. So, when you are uh, when you are using the uh, when you are using this RIM instruction, this rest of the bits that is bit number 0 to 6, they are set according to the interrupt mask settings and all that but this uh, this SDI bit, so this is coming from the SID pin of the 8085 processor and this bit will be having the value of the SID pin. So, whatever is coming serially on the SID pin, so that will be put into this particular bit. So, we can use this RIM and SIM instructions for uh, doing this uh, serial data input and output operation. What about port selection? So, since uh, this SID and SOD, so they are single bit pin and we can we do not have to have uh, different uh, devices, uh, a number of devices connected to it and all the, so that concept is not there. So, we do not need to bother about the setting up of uh, input and output uh, ports. So, they, so, SID is for input and SOD is for output. So, they may be connected to the same device and the it is the device's responsibility to figure out whether it is an input operation or an output operation. So, that way, uh, so, the, so these two pins SID and SOD, so they are uh, by, by themselves they are the ports, okay, for serial ports. Now, this SID, this SI and SIM and RIM instructions, so they are similar to this OUT and IN instructions. So, we will see this OUT and IN instructions uh, later. Uh, so, this OUT and IN instructions, they are for parallel output, okay. So, you will see that. Uh, so, for parallel output, for 8 bit output, so you can use OUT instruction for 8 bit input we can use in instruction. So, only difference is that uh, in case of out it is 8 bit and in case of sim it is uh, 1 bit, in case of in it is again 8 bit input, in case of rim it is single bit input. So, that way this SOD and SID uh, pins are used as ports. So, this is an example that talks about how this uh, serial communication can take place. Okay. So, let us take an example of transmitting one ASCII character stored in the register B using this SOD line. Okay. So, uh, we have to first, uh, so, so how many bits to be transmitted altogether? So, one start bit, two stop bits and eight bits of data. So, total 11 bits are to be transmitted. Okay. So, we can keep a counter in the C register for the 11 bits. So, MVI C comma 0 V hex uh, 
So, that will uh, set the C register to the decimal value 11. Then the next instruction XRA A. So, this is XOR accumulator with accumulator register. So, if you XOR A the accumulator with itself, so uh, what the, the content will become 0. So, the accumulator content will become 0 and carry flag will also be cleared. Then we have to uh, move this, uh, we move the pattern uh, 80 to uh, this uh, A register that will set that D7 bit to 1. So, D7 bit, uh, so and then we rotate right. So, bring the carry into D7 and the D, uh, that be this bit shifts uh, and D6 becomes 1. Then we execute the SIM instruction. So, this actually outputs the start bit. So, if you if I just go back and see that SIM. So, for uh, putting the start bit, so this bit should be 0 because start bit is 0 and this line should be 1. So, this is done by the first few instructions that we have discussed. So, here this uh, aid, uh, setting this R, doing this RAR rotate accumulator right. So, this will be uh, bringing the carry flag from the uh, carry bit from the carry flag into the D7 bit and the D7 bit will get shifted to D6 bit. So, the D7 bit will act as that um, start bit and D6 bit will be the setting of that uh, SDE, the serial data enable and in the SIM instruction. So, this D7 bit uh, 0 will go to the output. So, that will be the start bit. Then we have to wait for some bit time. So, we have some delay routine for the bit time. So, which is uh, not shown here explicitly. So, you can write a small delay routine by uh, finding out what is the bit time for the uh, type of crystal that is connected to 8085 processor, its uh, frequency and then you can find out what should be the uh, timing and you have to have this uh, baud rate setting between the device and the processor and uh, all that. So, though, uh, based on that you can uh, find out what is the bit time. So, you can put a delay routine which is equivalent to this bit time delay. Then we set carry to 1 and then move a comma b. So, this will place the character in that we had in the b register into a register. Then we do a RAR. So, that way this d0 that we have the first character that is there in the accumulator. So, that the d0 bit so that that, that will go to carry and the, the carry was set to 1 as you see here. So, that carry will become uh, that carry will now get shifted to d7. This intermediary result is save in the B register okay, because after that uh, the content will be changed when you execute uh, this uh, SIM and uh, all that. So, this, this is set to uh, the value is set into the B register. So, at the end of it uh, we have got the bit that we want to transmit the next bit that we want to transmit is available in the carry okay, and the D7 bit is 1 by this set carry and then when we do this RAR, so this carry bit uh, comes to the uh, D7 and then this uh, the bit that we want to transmit comes to the carry after, after this RAR instruction. Then uh, we save this intermediary value and then we decrement C. So, in decrement C, so 1 bit has been transmitted. The uh, the, the start bit has been transmitted. So, it is decremented by 1 and jump on not 0. So, we come to the next bit. So, in the next bit you see that again uh, the uh, D7 bit will be set to 1 and it, it, it will be rotated right. So, the D7 will go to the D6 bit enabling the SDE and this SIM instruction will uh, transmit the so carry bit will be coming to the uh, D7 bit okay. and carry bit is actually holding the least significant uh, bit that we have in the character to be transmitted now. So, that will be coming to this uh, through this seam. So, that will be uh, uh, outputted to the uh, serial output data. So, this way we can execute this uh, program and by this this uh, individual characters will be transmitted one after the other. And of course, so what is not shown here is the uh, uh, finally, we need to transmit to stop bit. So, that is not shown here explicitly. So, after transmitting this uh, 8 bits, so we have to transmit the carry bits. So, that part of the program is not shown here. So, you can add that to the bottom of the program. Next, we will look into uh, the, so some more examples of this 8085 uh, programming. So, uh, so we have seen uh, many uh, statements. So, we will use those statements to write some sample programs. So, you can just practice them.
or you can write some similar such programs uh, to get uh, confidence about the uh, programming features of 885. The first program that we consider is to count number of ones in the content of D register and store the count in the B register. So, how do we do this thing? So, uh, in the B register we store uh, 0 0 that is the initial count of number of ones that, that we have in the B register in the D register. So, that count is initialized to 0 and M V I C comma 0 8 hex. So, this C register is uh, holding like how many times I need to check. Okay? The policy that we will follow is uh, basically we will check the carry bit. Okay? So, policy that we follow is uh, if uh, this is the if uh, this is the content if this is the content of this uh, B register then what we will do if this is the content of the D register then what we do we transfer this content to the A register first and then in the A register we do some rotation rotation through carry ok. So, through this carry bit we rotate it. And if the carry bit is set, if the carry bit uh, becomes set by this fashion, sorry, it is not from here. It actually goes from this point. Okay. So the same uh, the bit, the most significant bit, it uh, goes to uh, the carry as well as uh, the uh, significant position. Now, if the when this bit is uh, rotated, so if the carry becomes set that means the bit was 1 and if the carry is not set then the bit is 0. So, we do 8 such rotations and in whichever if the in the rotation if the bit becomes 0 then we do not uh, increase the uh, B register, but if the bit is 1 the carry bit is 1 we increment the register. So, that we can get the uh, value there ok, we, we can get we, we can count that 1. So, this is done here in the program you see that this rotate right. Okay, rotate accumulator right and then jump on no carry to skip. So, in that case if the carry is not set then we do not count it as the uh, bit that we have uh, as, a, as a 1. Okay. So, B, B register is not incremented. So, then we decrement the C value because we have done one rotation and jump on not 0 to back. So, we will go back to this point again rotate the accumulator and we will do this thing. So, this way after this the loop completes. So, in the C register uh, in the B register we will have the number of ones that we have in the uh, originally in the D register. Okay. So, that will be uh, available in the uh, B register now. So, if we look into another program. So, we want to sort 10 numbers given uh, uh, stored from stored in memory location. Uh, uh, memory location 2 to 0 0 onwards and we want to sort them in ascending order. So, for sorting we use the simple bubble sort type of algorithm. So, we just compare two successive numbers and if they are out of order we change the order of those two numbers and uh, if they are uh, if they are in proper order then we do not uh, alter them and this process is repeated for the uh, all possible pairs of numbers. Okay. So, this is the algorithm that we follow. So, we initialize this B register to the value 9 because the first uh, index it can go from 1 to 9. So, and the second index will be going from uh, 1 to 2 to 10. So, that way we do it. So, LXI H2200 hex. So, that will be stored the, that is the initial uh, initialize uh, memory pointer. So, it will be initialized and then we move this uh, C comma 09 hex. So, this will initialize the counter 2. Okay, the other counter is also initialized. A move A comma M, so we will get the first number into the accumulator. Then the INX H, it will increment the memory pointer. So we have got, we have come to the next uh, um, uh, uh, number. So in the so in the, we have got the numbers uh, stored in this fashion. So if this is the array where we have got the numbers stored. So, the first number is available in the A register now, then the HL uh, pair is incremented and we compare. So, compare M. So, this HL pair is pointing to this address now. So, we compare the content of this location with the content of the accumulator register. 
So, uh, the, if the content uh, of the accumulator is less than uh, content of uh, this memory location or they are same, suppose this value is say x and this value is say y. So, the possibilities are x is uh, less than y or x is less or equal y, other possibility is x is greater than y. So, if x is less or equal y, we do not need to do anything, they are already in the proper order. If x is greater than y, in that case we need to change the order. So, on jump on carry and jump on 0, so these two cases, so we do not do anything. So, we do not, uh, if they are less, do not interchange, if they are equal, then also do not interchange. Otherwise, we have to interchange them. So, what do we do? So, move d comma m, so this instruction, so this will move the content of uh, this memory location onto, uh, uh, onto the d register. So, the d register now has the value, uh, d register has got the value y, okay. d register has got the value y and then it says move m comma a. So, this location, it was containing y previously, now this value becomes equal to x move m comma a this will make it equal to x next uh, now we had, we need to value store the value of y onto the previous memory location so for that purpose we decrement h so hl pair is now sorry hl pair now uh, goes back to uh, the um, HL pair now goes back to the uh, point uh, that we have here. So, HL pair goes there one position back by DCXH and then move M comma D. So, now D register is uh, having the value uh, Y. So, that will be moved here. So, this location gets the value Y. So, as a result this X and Y values have got interchanged and then we again take that HL pair back to this position. So, this INX H, so this will take the HL pair back to uh, the next position. We decrement C, so this uh, one, one iteration of the inner loop is over, jump on not 0 to back, it will take us uh, to back and if it is, uh, so, uh, the, so the back is, uh, back is here, so we get the next number, so that way we can. Uh, uh, we will go, go back to that uh, position and if it is otherwise, so if it is 0, we have completed one iteration, one complete uh, iteration of this counter 2, we decrement this B register and then if it is B register is not 0, so we go back start the next iteration of the uh, outer loop, okay. we start the next iteration of the outer loop starting with this LXIB. So, this process is repeated for uh, 9 times. Okay. So, the, as a result the entire array will get uh, sorted. Okay. So, this way we uh, do this um, algorithm of sorting 10 numbers in the ascending order. Next we will look into another program, look into another program that calculates uh, the sum of a series of even numbers from the list of numbers. So, in the list we have got both even numbers and odd numbers and uh, the numbers are stored from the location uh, 2200 uh, and, uh, and the how many numbers are there in the set. So, that is stored in the location 2200 that is the length of the list and the list actually starts at location 2201. So, at that location 2200 we have got uh, the number of numbers. So, this is the memory. So, at 2200 we have got uh, the number of numbers. So, if I have got only say 4 entries, uh, then this value will be 4 and here I have got the actual numbers. These individual numbers may be even or odd. So, the prog program is to sum up these uh, uh, even numbers and there is an assumption that the sum uh, uh, can be that uh, the total output sum is 8 bit uh, wide only. So, there, there will be no overflow after we have added the all the even numbers. So, we can ignore the carries and store the sum at memory location 2210. Finally, the sum has to be stored at location 2210. So, how do we do this program? So, we first uh, uh, load accumulator 2200 hex. So, that will have the uh, number of numbers in the A register. Uh, 
then move c comma a so it will move the count value to the c register then mvi b 0 0 hex so the sum so the b is holding the intermediary sum so that is initialized to 0 lxi h 2 2 0 1 hex so this will initialize the pointer to uh, the first location uh, of the uh, array and then move a comma m so this will get the first uh, number that we have and it will get it into the a register then a 9 0 1 hex so we need to check whether the number is um, uh, whether the number is even or odd ok so for that purpose how to do it so we have we need to check uh, if if the number is uh, uh, even then this the least significant bit that is the bit d0 will be 0 if the number is even on the other hand if the number is odd then this bit will be 1 so this is exactly what is checked here so we see whether the we do do a masking of that number with 0 1 hex so only the least significant bit is 1 and as a result if there if the result becomes 0 of this uh, uh, due to this ending if the result becomes 0 that means the number is an or uh, even number so in that case sorry if, if the number is not 0 then it is, uh, it is it is it is an odd number so in that case we don't need to add it but if the number is uh, uh, after this ending if the value becomes 0 that means the number is even so we need to add it so we uh, we first move this uh, b register content to a register because b was holding the intermediary sum so that is moved into the a register then add m so add m will add the content of uh, the memory location pointed to by this uh, hl pair with the a register and the value is in the a register and then the value is again moved to the b register so the intermediary res result is stored back onto the b register then this uh, h register is incremented this c value c register is decremented so the, because we have already processed one number so this the c, c register is decremented and as long as this c register content is not zero we will go back to uh, this uh, jump on not zero back so it will come back here now it will access the next uh, memory location and add it so once this uh, c register value becomes zero that means we have added uh, all the event numbers so the value has to be stored at location 2210 hex so that is done here so this store accumulator 2210 hex so this will be storing the number at location 2210 hex Next, we look into another uh, program that will unpack the packed BCD numbers. So, packed BCD numbers are like this: like when we are storing, if say, uh, uh, when we are storing, say, number, say, a number, say, uh, 42. Okay, so 42 in decimal. So, 42 in decimal. So, if you want to store it, so if you, you if you when you are storing in the computer, so this 42 will be converted into uh, uh, bit pattern like uh, so this is uh, so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is the 42 uh, representation that we have in the binary number system so if you are storing the number in a computer system then what will happen so this will be stored as an 8 bit pattern so there is another number system which is known as bcd which stands for binary coded decimal so this stands for binary coded decimal so here what is done is that this individual uh, digits of this decimal number system they are coded into binary so we have got this two num two digits here 4 and 2 so they will be coded uh, individually and they will be stored in the uh, um, uh, in, into four bits of a byte ok so uh, what will happen is that this number will be stored as first uh, the digit is 4 so this will be stored as uh, uh, 0 1 0 0 and the next digit is 2 so this is 0 0 1 0 so this is how the number will be stored so first 4 bit and the next 4 bit so that is the bcd coding of the number 42 now if the number is stored like this and then suppose the number is uh, stored at memory location 3000 so at memory location 3000 we have got the number 0100 0, 0, 0, 
zero zero one zero. So this is the four bit pattern, eight bit pattern that we have. Now the what the program will do? So it will break this number into two eight bit numbers, okay, and and store the results at three zero zero one and three zero zero two. At three zero zero one, so it will be storing uh, the first digit. That is, it 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 will be storing this zero one zero zero. And the next location, it will store the number two. That is the next digit two. So that is zero zero one zero. And rest of the bits are zero. Okay. So this uh, when I say it is zero zero one zero, so uh, this most significant bits are all zero. So the actual number that is stored. Is zero 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 one zero zero. Similarly, at the next location, the actual number that is stored is zero 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 one zero. So this is the thing that we want. So I have got at location three thousand the number like this. So I have to convert it into two digits separately. And store them in an unpacked form. So this is called packed BCD form. The three three thousand location that is called packed BCD form because we are packing two digits of uh, BCD number into one byte. Okay, so each digit takes uh, four bits. So I can put two such digits in a location. That's why it is called packed number. So we can unpack it. So how to do this? So first we uh, get the number into the accumulator. So this LDA. Uh, 3000 hex, so it will get the packed BCD number uh, from memory into the accumulator. Then we store the number in the B register. So move A comma B comma A. So this will save this uh, value of A register into B register. Then this C is uh, made equal to four, and then we end immediate with F0. So if we end immediate with F0, that means this F0 hex. So what we what what happens is that That from this number, I want to get only this part. So this part will be the this part I want to convert to zero. So if I end with F zero, that is ending with say one 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 zero 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 zero. So the result is zero one zero 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 after this ending. So and then we do a rotate right uh, through carry. Uh, so this will be rotated uh, four times. And we decrement C. So this rotation, so C is initialized to four. So this uh, loop will be repeated four times. So Z N Z L one. So this will be repeating four times. As a result, rotate right. So if we rotate right, then this part, this result part, so they will be coming to the, they will be rotated and coming to this side. So after this rotation, the result will be zero 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 one zero zero. Okay. So that is what we want to store now. So the accumulator content is uh, like this. So that value will be stored at location three thousand one. Now we uh, do uh, so the one one part is done. Now the next digit that we have. So we move the uh, content of register B into register A, and again and now we end immediate with zero f x. So if we end immediate, so with this content, uh, with the content zero one zero zero. Zero zero one zero. So if we end with zero uh, f x zero 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 one 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 one, so we'll get this part will become all zero. So this will become zero zero one zero. So we'll get back this part here, and the other things will be zero. So now uh, here we don't need to rotate anything because uh, this is the pattern that I want to store. So this will be stored in the location three thousand two. So this will be uh, the value will be stored in the location two. Um, location two. Okay, so that will be stored there. So then uh, this halt instruction. This is for terminating the program. So halt instruction will stop the processor, as we know. So in in other in your case, so you may have some other loops etc. Here uh, to make the program uh, leave, or you may some cases we transfer the control to the monitor program of the uh, plus of the kit of the microprocessor kit on which you are working. So that we can check the content of different registers and see whether the program has been done correctly or not. 